hello, hello, hello. I probably started this episode a little itty bitty bit too early. But, we're back at it again, seconds after that last episode. And you know what? I'm going to manage my inventory. That's the outside. Oh. Nice. So they're already there. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to... No, I don't care about the tent that I don't even want. Stop it. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this 7mm polymer tip, which is penetrating. Get rid of it. I believe I have the expansion tips. Yep. Not as many of them, but yeah, it's fine for now. So we're going to go down to this. Can I only take one? Oh wait, I can take the green tent. Might actually give me enough room to grab something else. Maybe. Okay. I don't know what this gun is for. That's the only downside. You can't really tell what the guns are for after a certain point. But that's not my real concern yet. So let's go back down to the 7mm Empress, get our expanding ammo, and bop, 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 bop. Let's get one. Let's get 200. Why not? Yeah, that's the thing. I love the most about the. Oh, yeah, I forgot I need to uh, equip it now. Boom. That's the thing I love most about the uh, 7mm. The ammo is cheaper than most other guns. And it has a very wide, way, wide range, and I'm starting to think it is just really inaccurate. But I'm willing to take inaccuracy for amazing bullets. Like, that's cheap. Like, I'll be honest. I, I kind of like to see the number of money I have go up. Like, last episode, we were... Oh, I think we were at, like, 5k, I think, from all the taxidermizing we did. And what are we up to now? Almost 10,000 again. Always love watching that number go up. That arbitrary little number. Which is literally just fake money... In a fake hunting. Which is such a funny thing. Which, If I could make anything a job, I would love to do this. Like, just imagine how fun it would be to be, like, a full-on professional, like, a hunter like this guy. Okay... Okay, got two hards. Not bad. Not bad. Not, I should probably destankify. Hey, yeah. Okay, what? This. Oh, oh, another hard. Okay. Okay, there's a heart. 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 Medium. Can't see anything over there yet. Hmm. I think I'm going to go until they get suspicious. Can't even spot them, they're behind all the trees. I think. Why am I whistling? I'm not even hitting the down button. Oh? 
hello there. I think I found the one I want to shoot. Yeah. Oh, you're just a hard. I mean, I guess you're 200 hard. That is not a trivial. Eh. There's a. Another hard. Easy. Oh. Another hard. Yeah, they're, they're traveling. But they're calm, so that's cool. Look at all those red deer, though. So which one is the best looking one? You? Yeah, you look like the best one to shoot at. Yeah, you're 200, everyone else isn't really as close. Oh, you're 201, so... You're not standing right. You're 175. You look easy. Very easy. Ooh. This game's spitting hard facts. I think it was you, right? No, you're 201. You're 202. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll go after the 202. I don't really see anything much better than that. Oh, something over there. Yeah, just a hard uh, 160. You were the... You're the one I went then, right? Who are you? You're not as good. Okay. I love how I'm so close to them and almost none of them even realize I'm here. Oh, you look, you might be cool. No, you're a 160. Fine then, where's the 102? There you are. I'm gonna get real close to you. Hope you don't mind. Do you guys even recognize that I'm here? You really don't. Wow. That means if I shot on, if I strapped on my bow and some of my air... I had enough room for my bow and arrows, didn't I? I think I should just, I could have just picked out like a couple dozen from the herd. You're the 202 that I want, I'm gonna get... I keep looking at you and thinking, no, no, he's bigger. He's got a bigger looking rack. But I gotta remember, it's not just the rack that identifies something as what it is. That's 190. Let me just quickly peek around, make sure there's nothing too super big. Just hanging off of the edge. No? Okay, well. Sorry, buddy, but I guess that means your fate's been sealed. Should I apologize, or would that just make it awkward? Well, I'm a guy. Okay, good. I was about to say, you don't want to do that. Okay, you're dead. Everyone's running. Is there any more I can hit? I can, like calm down a bit. I'll take a shot on you too. Then... Fine. I got a good shot on you, eh? I will not complain. Well, I think you died in the water, so you're probably gonna float this way, eh? Yeah? Yep. You guys still on the trees? I can hear the rain, too. You know what? I can get a shot off on you. I'll take you. Don't worry. I missed horribly. I apologize for that. Man, you can hear that rain beating down, can't you guys? Ooh. Ooh. 
You stopped? Oh, you hit a part of the ground. Ha 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 Okay, anyway, you were a nice silver. A good hundred. A good way to refill all that ammo I just bought. So it only takes, like, what, two or three of these things before I've fully recovered all the ammo. All the price of my ammo. I think. It takes roughly around that much. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I don't know. But, we got a few good ones. Oh, you were just as silver. Almost gold, though. Almost. That's cool. Only two from here, and they were in the same herd, too. Now, every time I see people talking about this game, and they're like, Oh, yes, I found two rares in the same herd, so I... Couldn't decide on which to take, so I took them both. I always think that's such a stupid thing, like... Okay, yeah. You're really quick with re-aiming, or you're, like, really talented at quick shooting and rapid adjustment. Or you just have a gun that has low kickback. Like, cool, good for you. Like, I might be able to do that. If I was any good, oh, hello. You know what? Hello, dear sir. Do you mind Oop, stopping right? My boy! I want to take you. Whenever I say I want to take you, I mean I want to take you, take you. You, uh, okay. I see how it is. You are traveling nervous. 75. That was a good shot, too. Ooh. Uh, you were got, you're probably from the same herd, aren't you? Just coming back. You know, I just never remembered my sick -a deer spot is now completely open again. Like, I could go there if I want to hunt more sick -a deer because they probably fixed it, but that place was amazing for sick -a deer You could just sit there, even with all the red it had, and they'd come through. Huh. So my expanding ammo penetrated faster and further than my penetrating ammo. Alright. That makes perfect sense. Well, uh, let's go up this way then. Huh. So the need zone did disappear after that one. Guess he respawned somewhere else. Probably up here, I'd bet. I love how we're just slowly taking numbers off of the herds here. Like, this has been one of my most effective spots, because I can hit one from the closer up range, and then boom, this is actually where I got that piebald in the last episode. Ooh. That's also where the game crashed a while back, and kind of made me restart the episode. Whenever I had less time to make said episode. So. Hmm. Oh, and I completely forgot I have homework I need to get done. Well, I guess I'll do that after this episode, then. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot about it. Like, ooh. It's <laughs> even due today. Oof. Well, Lay, I really hope you're not watching this at home with my parents. Or else you're going to get me in trouble. So, uh, I hope you watch this before you decide to go over there and watch videos like you were doing last time I got home. Also, fun story, my nephew, last time I played this and went home, I got to the house and they're all waiting for me, right? Because I was bringing dinner. 
from my college. Jimmy John's, real good food. I love it. It's great. Their Jimmy Cubano, ah, oh, perfect. Like, ooh, I, I've never really been that big fan of like subs and footlongs and all that, but yeah. I don't know what their sauce is they use. It's like a kind of whitish looking sauce. I don't know what it is, but it is great. I think it's like some kind of cheese sauce. I've got no idea what it is, but it's great. Like, I love it. It's crazy good. Then not to mention, the pickles are perfect length. Like, do you know how the perfect pickle slice should be? Like, the normal length of a pickle, crunchy, but soft enough to actually bite through. Like, ooh. Hello, my sick dear friend. I could kill you. I could easily kill you, considering last time I saw you, I literally sprinted at you. That? Yeah, warning call now. Okay, okay. I see an easy, medium, Nothing too crazy good. Let's check the over here. Oh, well, there is a medium. That's it. So we got two mediums. Hmm, it's kind of worse than what it used to be. You know, formerly it was like two sevens. A very hard and a mythical. It's a bit of a disappointment, but I mean, well, what can you do, right? I love how I'm just far enough away to where they won't hear me shoot you down. And with my new ammo, with a good long shot, I can probably drop you down real quick. Real quick and quiet. Yeah, why am I even crouching? Red Deer, you can just kind of walk up to the 150 mark. I can take a shot from here and be dead accurate. I just like to be safe, though. Okay. See where it be. I'm sorry, Mr. Duck, but you aren't gonna spook my prize here. So I'm gonna bet you're a uh, silver. Mm. Yeah, probably silver. I mean, you could be a gold. Okay. Wait. Two. And. Good shot? No? Bad shot? Probably still going to die, but okay. Yep. There you are. You're at 300. Irish! Okay. Try that again. Okay, got him good. At the very least. No thanks to you, Irish. Seriously, what are you trying to do, man? I thought we were on the same team here. And also, you know what? I think I'm going to try moving up this way, too. Because I think... Because I believe there's red deer spots right there and there. Also, one thing I don't understand is I've gone all the way up here before. Why does it not show that? Like, I just think that's a little weird, right? Plus, I can shoot pigs, I guess, if I see a real good one. But that's the thing. Anything that has a trophy rating that hits the possible 200 mark is a possible diamond. Which, after that, it just becomes like, Ooh, will it or won't it? 
which is kind of lame, in my opinion. Okay, we got low bleed rate. It'll be a little far off, but it shouldn't be more than like five minutes. Even a very low blood shot would be less than five minutes. Probably like, I'm going to say 30 seconds. Let's count. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven Mississippi, twelve Mississippi, twelve, thirteen Mississippi, fourteen Mississippi, fifteen Mississippi, sixteen Mississippi, seventeen Mississippi, nineteen Mississippi, twenty Mississippi. 21 Mississippi, 22 Mississippi, 23 Mississippi, 24 Mississippi, 25 Mississippi, 26 Mississippi, 27 Mississippi, 28 Mississippi, 29 Mississippi. Okay, it's over 30 seconds. I was off. By a good little bit, too. Ooh, yeah, I was really off. Hmm. Let me guess, I hit too high? Or too far, actually, well, since I've switched to expanding ammo, if I hit a bone, it's not going through at all, I don't think. Because the penetrating ammo is made to go through bone. In case you get an unlucky shot. Expanding ammo, you hit the bone, it's, it's sticking. Which I'm going to say, that's my bet at what happened. I hit the shoulder... It stopped there. Right? Did I call it? No, I hit the spine. Just a little off. Oh, it's because he was bent down. I forget that whenever they bend, all their organs move down a little. It would have been a silver, too. Just barely, but that's cool. Oh, well. Down to the next one, which is there, actually. With the path we gotta take to get to it, we might even just run into its dead body on the way back. Because I don't think it got... It might have gotten into tree line by a little bit. But I'm feeling it didn't get off the beach. Off the shoreline. I think its body is still on the sands. That's what I think. But anyway, besides that, we're going to move more northbound than we have been. Like, we've been stopping roughly at the point that we just killed him. We normally hit him, go somewhere else. We hit the two that normally spawn here, then we go to another spot. All right? That's normally what we do. But, let me just... Ah, I had to pop my wrist there for a second. Ah, it feels much better. Also, a fun fact, didn't realize this until lately, but if you are continuously popping your, like, bits and bobs and all that, eventually they get to the point where you can pop them, even at the point where you couldn't pop them before. Like, my wrist couldn't do that before, but it's like stretching it out, which I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm hoping it's good, like, I think a stretchy bone piece would be good, right? Hey, lady. You chillin'? You want me to put you down? If you stop or go broadside, that's a yes. Yes, all right. Oh, you got lucky right there, though. I'll give you that. I'll let you go. That was a great shot. Yep, we got lung. Not double lung, but still gave us a ton of blood, and he didn't make it that far. Because he, we shot him, like, right there, I think. Well, let's, uh, I mean, I got the time. Let's follow this path. Yeah, because unless there's a red deer right around this corner, we're going to see them before they spot us. 
especially on the shoreline. Like, and I remember red deer used to spawn over there too. Cause I remember I like ran into them from the trees many times. Now it's only that one male thick deer that I've literally walked into. I just love the thought of that. I straight up walked into him. Like I, I was standing there beside him. Like I could have held his hand. I do also remember there being red deer here as well. And it's still red deer drink time, so I guess they just aren't here anymore. I mean, I guess it is also a chance that we just killed him not too far from here, but even then, they aren't that close, so if they were here, they should have been back by now. We're not even that far off. Also, if I remember right, this is one of the few bodies of water in this game you can cross like this. Yep, see? Uh, I remembered. Because this is a real good spot, because you can hit them just about the same as you could over there. <laughs> uh, well, anyway... We're gonna see soon enough if I remembered accuracy or not. If not, then, uh... Oopsie. Just wasted the... Oh? Oh, turkeys. That's cool. Hmm, <laughs> not like I want to shoot turkeys. I think the only bird that I've shot on this map was one of them because I thought it was actually an albino at the time. What's this? Feet prints. Mm, let me guess. Pig. E oh, turkey. You see, you see that, and I think albino. But no. Apparently, that right there is a light brown. Right? Like, that don't look light brown. I mean, I guess the underside of them a bit, but the majority of that thing, not that right color. I love the fact that they fly slow enough to where I can just drop them from the sky. If I have them at the right angle, I can just drop them. Ugh. Oh, what side of the river should we stay on? I mean, they're both about the same. I mean, we can see equally off of them. Huh? I saw the call. Hmm? Maybe it was just the turkey call. I don't know. Ooh, pig. Piggy wiggies. Hmm. Still don't see any red deer, though. Which is a bit of a bummer. Not even signs of a... Well... You aren't a red deer, I guess. Like, that's the thing. On most occasions, I'll go for, like, the bigger score for trophy. Which I'm starting to realize. Even some of the medium classes, I believe, have said they at least have a possibility to be diamond. Which is like that, oh, hey, oh, that's a weird little graphical glitch, I guess. Which is just kind of like a, huh, neat kind of thing. But I was also thinking, 
why don't we try and do some, like, archery? Like, I mean, especially with him, it seems we can sneak up on him real, real well. Huh? Mm, boar. And what a, a boar, am I right? Sorry, that joke for real just killed a piece of me inside. Just the ooh. The sheer cringiness of it was almost fatal. Hmm? Probably a rabbit, huh? I see you. Hmm. One, two, three, boom. We got it. That's how you drop a rabbit. You just grab a gun that's able to take down a buffalo and blast it into outer space. Now, in real life, if you were to have done that, there would be no rabbit. Hey, the burrow. Okay, so you are bronze. And... Huh. I... I love the size of that bullet compared to the rabbit. It just takes up a quarter of it, no? Huh? Man. <laughs> so what size... Oh. So you would have been a silver. Cool. Oh, wait. Yeah, you would have been... You were almost a gold rabbit. You know, maybe I should try, like, uh, setting up for, like, smaller game, too, because... I think my bow does have the ability to hit, like, rabbits and all that. Like, uh, level 1 animals. But it's just, like, why would I want to do that? Like, sure, yeah. Smaller animals have a much higher chance to drop diamonds. Because, I mean... You're just getting more, generally. Like... I could get a shotgun, right? And just start blasting every single duck I see whenever I just, like, stop by in Leighton Lake or something, right? And that would probably be at least somewhat effective. I'd definitely get a bunch of animals. Like, I have hunted very few rabbits, and I don't think I have ever hunted one with the right caliber. That one was almost a gold, however. What? What? No way this whole... Oh. I guess it was. Wait, what? Okay, okay, this is kind of glitchy. Where did it throw me? Here? Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. Well, I guess we can go up there for the next episode. Yeah, but you know what? Let's see if we can't stuff our bow in our pack. Don't care. Bow... We are short by a pound. Huh. No, we probably don't need all the calls we have on me. We will need that though, so yeah. Okay, so let's let's do a little bit of management real quick. So this can call fallow deer, reindeer, caribou, lesser ca lesser kudu, gimsbok, and black buck. Which we do hunt fallow deer, so I'll accept that. Axes deer. That 
that's that has white-tailed deer and a few others in that. Then we got my elk call, my moose call, my predator distress. Which I'd like to keep those two. Because you know what? I don't have that. Wait, what? So that has the it has wolves. Then what's the point of having this one? That is two hundred meters, that is two hundred Why would I carry that if that one's just so much worse? So this one is just kind of sick of deer. Well, they both have things that I'd like. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, now I'm off by more weight? What? Hmm. I like I do want some of that, but I don't want it all. Hmm. I don't even use predator calls. I probably should, but I don't. Do I even use the moose call? Hmm. But I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. Keep that. Now, does that give me enough? Come on, show me the money. Still off. Hmm. What bullets do the pistols use? Okay, so what can I use you for? It takes down. Everything the Empress can, that's... Huh. It's not really what I would have expected. It's cool, I guess, though. Okay, though. That's what I'm talking about, though. This can take down... That's two through four. That's two through... That's two, three, four, five, six. That's two through six. Hmm. Yeah. Even less. Because so I want something that can take down small game. So, like rabbits. Wait, how much is this? Four? So, what about you? You can take that. Perfect. Finally. Also can take up the... Okay, that's... Something. You know what? Fine, I'll take the ash. And I'll buy... <sighs> hmm. They cost more, but it's like... Why not, right? Sure. Ooh, hear that? Man, don't care about the pink tent. I want this. It means I need to put more things away. 
know what? Maybe I should just sell. Can I sell things I don't need? Like, I'd like to get rid of this, because I don't really need it. Hmm. Well, I can get rid of... Okay, what is this? Okay, can I, like, remove this? I'll get rid of everything other than my red deer call. Deal? Oh wait, no wait, no wait. Should probably grab my... that. Just in case. So now I should be able to pick up the base bow. Yes. And it's arrows. Okay, so. This was that. Good. Take it. Take that. And I'll take these. All right? Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. I forgot to check what scope. Or what kind of sight does this bow have? Doesn't have any sight, eh? That means I don't need to hold on to stop talking about the stupid tent. Right, so that means I don't need this, right? And I hate myself for thinking about this. Let me... Put the bow down right here. Sights. Okay, no, it does not work. Okay, so there's that. And I got a few arrows for each. Why does it give me the option to put on a sight if I can't put on a stupid sight? Let's shove that in. Stop telling me about the stupid tent. I don't need the tent. Don't care about the tent. Boom. There. Now, unless it's telling me that now I have a site on there that I can use? No? Okay. Just checking. Okay, so now we have this. Which... Okay, so let me quickly try and cite this in, right? Okay, so that's 20 feet away. That is the lowest suggested. So it looks like this. Okay. Okay. We should be able to pick that up. It broke. Of course it would. And we can go at 60 as well. And 60 should be able to reach at 100, roughly. I'm going to check by getting up to 100 meters away from that tree. We're at 50. So we're currently at the optimal range for it. Okay, let's keep going. Seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. Okay. Oh, but I forgot. 
We don't see any sights, do we? Hmm. We should be able to see from here if I hit it or not. I cannot tell at all. And then see one blinker. See, I can see why it says to take the shot from 60 or closer. Okay, so we did hit it right about where we wanted to hit it. Good. See, there's our 100. So 100 can land about the same place as 60, but it's much harder to hit. Yeah, that's the 60 right there. That's the 100. That's the 20. Okay. So now we know, which isn't really the best of spots, but it works. So that means... Okay, from like a... Let's say from here. Oh, that does. From a 20. Right about where we picked. Finally, it didn't break. Thank you. Okay, cool. Well, now we know that. Now we're ready to hunt anything with a bow. Though hunting small game might not really be all that effective. I mean, our best chance for a real small game would probably be... Probably be the lures, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, that'll be all for this episode. I need to get that homework done, which I could do it tonight, but, you know, I'd rather have it out of the way sooner rather than later, so. Thank you for watching, anyway. I'll see you later. Peace.